What happened, Ubisoft? From a company that gave us such classics as Rayman and Beyond Good and Evil, look how far you've fallen. Where did the magic go? Sure, we thought Rayman Origins was a sign you were going to return, the king back upon his throne. Then you gave us Assassin's Creed Unity. Thankfully, in the repugnant mass of overused franchises and company greed that Ubisoft has become, one little light has shone through. Yes, beyond the mediocrity and the AAA tripe comes a beacon of hope. May I present to you, Grow Home. Reflections, a Ubisoft studio, is a Newcastle-based games developer intent on seeing past the crap that is the Ubi cesspit of the modern day. And my, what a pedigree. Before this game, they created Driver San Francisco, probably my favourite driving game to date. You are a robot. Your name is Bud, botanical utility droid, sent to a mysterious alien planet in an attempt to save your homeworld from some eventual and imminent cataclysm. Your task is to find the seeds of a giant alien plant and bring them home. With you on this journey is Mum, an AI designed to help you in this task, providing teleports and scan units for the purpose of cataloguing the strange flora and fauna found on the planet. And, as you can tell, this game is astoundingly beautiful. It's what Bubsy 3D would look like if Bubsy 3D was made by people who actually could design games properly. It's colourful and simple, but expansive and mysterious. The lighting effect, for example, is gorgeous and bathes the map in a rich, welcoming glow. The game feels good just by looking at it. Furthermore, the controls are wonderful. It's preferable to use a controller with this game, and although I detest the Xbox 360 controller, I found myself enjoying the layout and the simplicity of the controls. A is jump, left stick is move, right stick is camera, and the triggers correlate to each hand, allowing your little mobile droid to grab surfaces and climb. Controls feel light and slippery, which can sometimes be a bit of a chore, but means that the freedom of movement is refreshing and intuitive. For example, I tried to get a nice shot of the landscape here and ended up slipping off to my doom. On the way, you will find power crystals that level up Bud. With each level, he gains a new ability, focused around aiding exploration and climbing. The game itself is designed around being an interesting, whimsical adventure with no time limit or solid objective. It's a charming, quirky little platformer. Although floaty and icy footsteps sometimes hinder the controllability of Bud, it simply does not hold the game back from being wonderful. The world you're thrust into feels alive. And the more things you scan, the more you learn. For instance, this is my second time playing, and I found this neat little cave with a warble in it. Come along, Mr. Warble. We gotta get you scanned. Come on, get up there. Come on, get up there. There we go. Now, obviously, I enjoy this game, but what makes me sad is there's a game like this, a wonderful little jumping adventure crafted so expertly and finely by people passionate about making games, will simply fall under the radar. People will be hyped for the next adventure of Assassin number 143, or they'll be queuing up to purchase the next Watch Dogs 2 Brown edition. But Grow Home will fade into obscurity, buried underneath an ever-growing pile of AAA shite pumped out from Ubisoft every single month. Grown Home is £5.99. Now compare that to the £49.99 asking price of Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm not saying don't buy AAA games and I'm not completely against them. What I'm saying is that give these sorts of games a try. Sure they're simple, low detailed, very shallow in terms of complex storylines, but you don't necessarily need those features to enjoy yourself. Grown Home is wondrous, charismatic and most importantly creative. It's fun, neat, cheap, and worth more for its price than Unity ever will. I apologise for this becoming an opinion piece, but it's really important to me. You will like this game if you like platformers, the Tiny and Big series, and underdogs. Grow Home gets an indie bin recommendation.